Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for the back nine of one of my course vlogs. We're out here at the Golf Club of California. What an awesome golf course this is. These greens are running really, really quick. Absolutely pure today. Uh, please smash that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you out there on the 10th hole. It's right here. I believe it's a par five. The 10th hole par five is a mid-range par five in the grand scheme of things, only 530 from the tips, and it's gonna play straight up the hill. The entire golf club here sits up on a ridge, so there are lots of terrain changes that you have to take into account. That fairway bunker on the right is gonna be a problem off the tee, and then really it's just the severe slope that you have to deal with up into the green. What am I talking about? That's a rocky trench right in front of the green. That's uh, also known as a barranca here in California. You know what though, if you go down in there, you could ship it out on a day like today. If there's a lot of rainfall, not gonna happen on one of those days. First things first, it's a downwind par five. So let's send this thing. There we go, right down the middle like we like. A big seven iron here downwind to that front plateau green. God, oh, that's good. I did think it was good, but when you're heading uphill and downwind, that ball is gonna come in at a very, very steep, at a very shallow angle, excuse me, and skip forward off the green off down to the back. You saw how slippery that chip was there. I did the best I could. I mean, it's eight feet under the hole for birdie. Oh. And I just didn't take advantage ultimately. Just a little tap in par and we're on down into some more canyon holes here. Hole number 11, a shorter par four at 390 because this thing is playing straight downhill and down into those trees. Fairway bunkers pinch the fairway once again, right and left, and these hard fairways do run out, so you really gotta be careful on those distances. I'm gonna be laying back with a two iron off the tee. Into the green, you gotta deal with some pot bunkers off to the right, and you can't go long. Everything will jettison down into the hazard, and you'll lose a golf ball. That's no fun. Alrighty, there's that two iron. Let's get it right down the middle. Clubs off the tee were really working for me today, especially that two iron. It's really running down these hard and fast fairways. Now into the breeze here, 120, I had to club up to a pitching wedge, hoping it was enough down that hill. And ultimately it took off uh, with a lot of spin back to the front edge because it was into the wind. So I had to lag one down uh, from the front to the middle of the green was downhill a little bit strange as this whole entire hole slopes right down the hill cozied one on down there though a nice foot little tap in for par and we're off to the 12th now look at that fence line that definitely cut off the black tee uh it looks like the property owner next door is gonna be building something there i wouldn't doubt if we're gonna have some homes here sooner or later uh this short par four is pretty fun but off the tee it's really pinched now when you're all the way back there you can't really see too much 332, the middle of the green uh, with the hard fairways. If you can hit something 290, it could take off and hit down into that green. But to be honest, with all that water off to the right and those bunkers, that's just not something you really want to deal with. Now, I did have the shot. I could have taken it all the way down there, but no, didn't want to lose a golf ball for no reason. That wasn't fun. So I just smashed a two iron down the middle of the fairway like everything else was gonna happen in for the day. And I'm gonna take a little sand wedge and try and chip this onto the green with a little half wedge. Uh, was really able to hit a little nippy one though and that thing checked up early on the green and left myself another 30 footer here. Just trying to lag another one close and a nice stress-free par putt. That was close enough, it's just out of the view of the camera though. But I had the line and just kind of tap it in. Oh, 
Alrighty here, lucky number 13 is the toughest hole on the back nine. It's going to be playing downhill at 413 yards, but don't be deceived because it is really, really tight off the tee and especially tricky into the green. Uh, heading into the green, it's a nice boomerang green around that pod bunker and it's a severe slope off the front, a big false front big like 10 foot chasm there uh, in front of the green it's going to be playing all the difficulty especially playing straight back into the ocean breeze uh, that two iron was working so let's hit one more here off a high tee that's how I'm trying to learn how to hit my stingers tee it up high and you can hit it low it's a little bit easier than trying to hit it off the deck and hit it even lower huh Got a nice pitching wedge here into the wind, though, and that front flag probably should have taken a little bit more club as this ended up getting right next to the flag and just spinning off the front edge just barely here. It's a great putt, dude. That was a putt, that was a chip. Oh, really? You. Then you're welcome. <laughs> I'd like to mention that I had just given my friend a little chipping tip. Boom, baby, let's go! Come on! Let's go! Oh, the eye roll that I got out of my buddy right there was absolutely worth every second. But hey, he chipped it close, I chipped it in, the chipping tip works. Check out Colin McCarthy. It absolutely works like magic. Sitting here on cloud nine, and I was floating up to an uphill par five, 14th. No trouble off the tee. There's no bunkers. It just tucks down into this narrow, snaking uphill fairway up into the par five green. It's a clover style green. Uh, that is elevated from the fairway, and the pin today is going to be elevated and tucked all the way back on that right-hand side. Well, first things first, let's smash a driver. The first mission was accomplished, and we're down Main Street. Adjusted this was 233 yards up the hill and I had to smash this four iron and I absolutely hit a golf shot here That little tucked flag over on the right. I was taking a chance going right at it. I really had a lot of confidence and Sitting over another little chip shot here. I thought I could make this one too. Not quite, but you cozy on up there for a tap-in birdie, and we are back to even par, facing what is allegedly the easiest hole on the golf course. This is a downhill short par four, going to be playing even shorter with the firmness of this golf course. Those two little fairway bunkers will pinch a shorter drive, and into the green, you got to deal with that bunker. From up above, it doesn't really show it too well, but that bunker is embedded into a hill, hiding most of the green from the view of the fairway. It's kind of cool. You can't really see much down there. Well, I was hitting this two iron really well all day, took another one over the corner, and was able to try to open up the flag stick here uh, for the view. Uh, you see the bunker that I was talking about, there's definitely that big hill. If you're anywhere else on the fairway, you can't see much back there. Uh, even where I was, I had to run around to go see where my ball landed. Cozy this one down as these greens, when you're behind and up from the hole, oh boy, do they ever run fast. There we go, just another par, and we're on to the closing stretch, a uh, slightly unusual closing stretch with a couple par threes here. Uh, the first is number 16, we're going to be facing a very, very big green, and so you're going to have a whole bunch of different clubs into this depending on the flag location. Ours was pretty much in the middle, kind of down towards the front, and way off on the left-hand side.
Now, regardless of the hole location, you definitely don't want to miss short or right on this hole. You're going to be down, uh, down the canyon there. I mean, it's not severe, but, you know, 15, 20 feet below the hole is still no fun. Neither is five feet above the hole, though, because if you're on the wrong shelf, like I just said on the previous hole, look at that thing absolutely run out all the way past the camera, and it was sitting on the fringe. Um, ultimately, from 20 feet and off the fringe, I'm not going to make those every day. Just going to cozy it up and make sure I don't really screw up the hole with a big number and just tap in the bogey. The last driver of the day off the tee, we're facing a pretty good par four as this thing's going to be up the hill as well and there is a nice fairway bunker there protecting the left side so the fairway bunker is going to push you over to the right and look at that once you get pushed over to the right then you got to deal with the bunkers into the green that's just a little bit of architecture there for you huh well the firm conditions do allow you to kind of bounce it up into the green but the really fast conditions also make that green super treacherous One last big driver down the fairway for me. Man, that one really felt good. Set it right down almost as good as you could right here next to the 150 flag. And uh, let's take that nine iron, stripe it to the middle of the green. And with the cold conditions, the ball didn't quite fly all the way up there, but if it was above the hole, I would have not even been close to making this putt. Look at this slope. It almost came back to me off that slope. Just a little two putt par and we're on to the final hole. 18 here is a par three playing right back up into the clubhouse and it's a solid 200 yards here from the black tees. Gorgeous looking clubhouse there in the background and a solid shot here over the water is required. I was shocked that Shot Tracer was actually able to pick this shot up because when we hit it in real life, no, we couldn't see a thing. Not a single thing. We can go back and look at it, and hey, that thing was actually able to pick something up. That's pretty cool. A little six iron I was pushed off to the right-hand side. I was aiming middle of the green, just trying to get up and down here from all the way across the green, kind of feeding it over to this little plateau that we were facing. And uh, one last par putt here, trying to end on a good note. Oh. Ah. One tough ending there to this, but to be honest with you, it's pretty much dark out here. I don't know how it looks on the camera. Hopefully it's good enough. Hey, please subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button down below. We'll see you all next time. Later.